Naito Okane. Tranquilo. Asignayo. It is good to be back. Welcome everyone to the return of No Limits Wrestling. I am Mr. Kagler here to wrap up what's been an impactful night here in NLW. Every wrestler in the back has been itching to compete since the hiatus, not to mention the fact that so much has changed following our last event, WrestleMania 3. We have brand new champions such as the new women's champion, Sasha Banks, and of course the new NLW world champion, Seth Rollins. Speaking of which, tonight we find out who his first challenger will be with our main event. A fatal four-way number one contenders match featuring Cesaro, Kenny Omega, Pentagon Jr. and Shinsuke Nakamura all competing for a shot against the Architect. You'll notice that all those men won their respective matches at WrestleMania, with the exception of Pentagon. The reason for his inclusion arises from the disappearance of The Undertaker, who following his victory against Penta at WrestleMania hasn't been seen. The NLW Commissioner Stone Cold therefore had no choice but to put Pentagon in the match. But, in my opinion, something seems a little off about that whole situation. In other news, you saw at the top of the program, Mr. Money in the Bank, Tetsuya Naito. The hot new signing debuted as a surprise participant in the Money in the Bank ladder match at WrestleMania, and ended up winning it, guaranteeing him a world title match anytime he chooses. And the bidding wars have already begun as Naito continues to consider whether or not to sign with a metal brand or the NLW brand. Also tonight you're going to see the NLW Tag Champions, the Hardy Boys, Daniel Bryan, x Division Champ Adam Cole and more. Well, let's kick things off first of all by going down to ringside to hear from someone with a lot on their mind. The glass shatters and the crowd erupts. Austin 316 is still in the job of the commissionership. Following the main event of WrestleMania 3, our last show before hiatus, Stone Cold Steve Austin defeated CM Punk in a brutal no disqualification match, which means that he is still the head of the NLW brand, and I'm sure that he intends to make sure that he stays that way for a long time. I walked into WrestleMania as the head of this company, and there was no way in hell I wasn't walking out that way. I gave my blood, my sweat, everything I had, and CM Punk found out that Stone Cold Steve Austin is the toughest SOB walking the face of this earth. Now I reached out to Punk following the match to work out an opponent for tonight, and he said, eh eh, I am working for you Stone Cold. So I told him not to let the door hit him in the ass on the way out of this NLW. As far as Stone Cold is concerned, there's a bunch of guys ready to step up and fight to be the best, like the new NLW champ, Seth Rollins. So if CM Punk don't want to compete, that's fine by me, because my job isn't to wrestle, that's an issue that's been put to rest. My job now is to give all the hungry cats in the back something to fight for, which is why tonight, there will be a number one contenders match to see who will face Seth Rollins for the NLW World Title. Either Cesaro, Pentagon Jr., Kenny Omega, or Shinsuke Nakamura will challenge Seth Rollins for the NLW World Championship. Now I'm not here to take up too much time. We've been gone for far too long in my view. So let me just say this. NLW is back and better than ever. And that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold Oh, wait a minute, what is this? Oh my, it's the brood and... And there's Luke Harper. Obviously no Bray Wyatt here. We had to watch as our leader was struck down in his prime. Hell in a cell, Sting took out Bray Wyatt. Now we have no direction, no purpose, no control. You made that match. You are responsible for the demise of the Wyatt family. We are here to ensure that Bray did not suffer in vain. And now, you must pay the ultimate price. 
for the sins that you have committed. Well, Bray Wyatt, there's no way he'd be able to compete anymore after what happened to Hell in the Cell. And now the Wyatt family, without a leader, are running roughshod over this show. Attacking the man who they believe is the responsible one for booking the Hell in the Cell match. And now they're attacking the owner, Austin. And here it comes! Some reinforcements here come Sting from the rafters. The man who took out Bray Wyatt in Hell in a Cell at WrestleMania. Putting off the brood and there's a stunner. Right into the death drop goes Birchill. And Sting and Austin, the ultimate dream team, taking out their brood. But oh my! Went for the Stinger splash, but I think that Luke Harper spit that red liquid in the eyes of Sting. Sting's blinded, but there's a stunner. Look at that, there's blood in his eyes, or whatever the hell that is. That red liquid in the eyes of Sting, spatting it by Luke Harper. He can't see a damn thing. Oh! I don't think he realised that that was Austin. As I said, he can't see anything. And that bat shot to Austin. Austin! Stone Cold stunner to Sting! And I'm not sure that Austin realised that Sting had been blinded. And out of all this confusion, Sting has no idea why he was just stunned. Because he didn't know he hit Austin in the first place. And now he's saying, what the hell was that about? Blood in the eyes of Sting and Austin saying, what the hell were you thinking? What a chaotic start to this show. I may have come up short in my quest to win money in the bank at WrestleMania, but I still have gold on my shoulder. And as the best of the best in the X Division, there is no one who can match up to me. And tonight, I challenge anyone to prove me wrong in that ring. But I'll even go a step further and put my X Division title on the line. That is how confident I am that any challenger that is put in front of me, I can beat. And I've been putting people away since I stepped foot in NLW. And tonight, my legacy grows. Open challenge. X Division title. You can try, but don't beat yourself up when you fail. Because there is only room for one at the top of the X Division. And that spot is reserved for Adam Cole, baby! Well, folks, it's boss time. She says she's the baddest, the meanest, the boss of NLW. She is bold, she is brash, she's cocky, but it's not being cocky if you can back it up. And she does that every time she steps in the ring. That right there is how you make a statement like a boss. She has a mean streak, which I believe few other women on this roster can match. She is here to change the game. She keeps gaining momentum. This is only the beginning for the boss, Sasha Banks. There's no lacking in confidence in that woman. She is on fire right now. The women's division has been changed for the foreseeable future. This is the grandest stage possible and she's got an opportunity to become the women's champion. But it's going to be a tough task against the current champion, Lita. And she applies that bank statement. Lita taps out. We have a brand new women's champion. And her name is the legit boss, Sasha Banks. Well, it didn't take long for Chaos to resume after the hiatus. Before the break, Sting came down to try and help Stone Cold fend off the Wyatt family, but in the commotion, blood was spat in Sting's eyes by Luke Harper. He was blinded when he took a swing at Austin with that bat. And then Austin saw red, no pun intended, and stunned Sting right out of his cloak. Sting was just as confused as we all were. Some friction building between Austin and Sting right there. But still to come, folks, Adam Cole puts his X-Division title on the line in an open challenge, and our main event, Fatal 4-Way, is coming up as well. Before then though, let's cut back to ringside as Daniel Bryan prepares to address the audience for the first time since WrestleMania and for the first time since his defeat to the cleaner Kenny Omega. Before the match with Omega, he said, Daniel Bryan did, that he needed to win that match to prove that he was as good as he said he was, but he lost and, you know, it has to play on his mind, but you wonder what he's going to say and... Listen to this. This is unbelievable. This crowd giving Daniel Bryan a standing ovation. And he may have lost, but his match against Omega was probably one of, if not the best NLW matchup of all time. Maybe Bryan can take some comfort in that, but 
I'd be interested to hear what he has to say as he goes in and wait a minute what the hell oh good god a vicious headbutt I don't know who that is but what is he doing here choking Daniel Bryan out with the towel and there's the Gotts power driver and the sleeper what the hell is this about Choking out Daniel Bryan! And Bryan was about to address this crowd and he's passed out. Passed out in the sleeper. Minoru freaking Suzuki. What in the hell is he doing here? Well I can tell you what he just did. He choked out Daniel Bryan and assaulted him. Left him lying. Minoru Suzuki bursting onto the scene and choking out the American Dragon Daniel Bryan but what is his business here in NLW? There is just very rare times where I think things come together in like a perfect storm and that's what happened with us, it just took off. Chad and I come from the same background, I don't think we realised how quick we gel as a team. We've got the credentials to back up our skills and we know there isn't a team in NLW that can match that. We're here to prove ourselves and get to that next level and work towards those NLW tag titles one step at a time. We know we can do it because we are ready, willing and gable. We are American Alpha. One half of the NLW Tag Champions, Broken Matt Hardy, goes one-on-one -on -one with Xavier Woods here tonight. A side effect from Matt. Xavier Woods looking to get back into it with that DDT. Jeff Hardy willing Matt on, but there's a drop kick by Woods and there was no need for that. And now Hardy bites him! Twist of fate! Matt Hardy gets the win! And there's a swan on for good measure! Woods tried to get the numbers advantage on his side, but ultimately, he was deleted. Oh, hey, Minoru, what is going on? Why are you leaving now? Have you signed with NLW? Why did you attack Daniel Bryan? What are your goals here? Why are you here? I mean, what's next for Minoru Suzuki? Oh! Well, there's no need for that. There is no need for that from Minoru Suzuki, and we still don't know why he's here, or why he attacked Daniel Bryan, but I can assure you, He's here to cause mayhem. And well, folks, Adam Cole earlier tonight said he was ready for an open challenge for his ex title. Let's see what he has to say right now. Well, boys and girls, it's about time, isn't it, for the open challenge. So the question is who is going to show up and fight me? Come on, who in the back there wants to show up my title? Who back there is willing and ready to step up and challenge Adam Cole, baby? I'm certainly interested to see who it who it could be. And Adam Cole now locking up with Marty Skull. I cannot believe that he's actually here in NLW. And not only that, challenging for the Exodus and title. Arm drag from Skull. And remember, Adam Cole asked for this. He said he was the best in the X Division. 
and now Marty Scroll is here to put that to the test. Stiff European uppercut. Off the ropes and an insiguri by Cole. Well, he seemed a bit starstruck at the start of this match, but now he's finally trying to find his rhythm. Super kick, just kidding. Oh, out! And a kick to the shin and that spinning brain buster. Adam Cole potentially bit off more than he could chew in the corner but a rake to the eyes and a super kick and there's a shining wizard hooks the outside leg but a kick out by Skrull and remember X of his title on the line and Adam Cole now going for the Hoshi Garoshi but chicken wing chicken wing coming Cole just really tries to block it and he does but a huge lariat Adam Cole stunned for the moment but stunning Skrull with that lariat the villain is down Adam Cole Wants to go for the kill. Oh, but Posey for too long. Oh, good God, he snapped him. He snapped his fingers in the Inseguri. Adam Cole's fingers may be broken after that move. And we know what's next. Chicken wing. Chicken wing coming. But a huge uh, discus punch. Adam Cole, baby. And here comes Skull. Skull. Marty hooks it! Marty! The villain has it locked in! No way to go for Cole and Cole taps! Cole taps out! And Cole taps out to the chicken wing! And we have a brand new X Division Champion! Well before this match, Adam Cole was cocky and brash saying he could beat anybody that NLW put in front of him. Well, he didn't beat Marty here tonight. Had his fingers broken, yes. Nearly got knocked in with that chicken wing, but Cole scouted it. But this, again, overconfidence. The same overconfidence we saw backstage earlier. And it cost him. Skrull jumped back up, right back from the dead. Hooked in that chicken wing. And I'll tell you, if you don't pass out, you have to tap. And that's exactly what Adam Cole did. Well, the former x champion now is what Adam Cole is. And the villain makes a splash immediately upon entering NLW. And Marty Skull leaves here with the x title. The World Championship being defended on the biggest stage possible here at WrestleMania. It's a fatal four-way elimination match between Samoa Joe, Shawn Michaels, Seth Rollins and the champion Edge. And this matchup is underway. And Edge has been the first man to be eliminated. There is going to be a new champion here. Edge not taking the loss well. These three gladiators battling out for the gold. Silly Jim Music for the Coquina Clutch! And now we're down to Samoa Joe and Seth Rollins! One of these men will be walking out of WrestleMania with the World Championship! Huge curb stomp! And again! Seth Rollins, the architect! Seth Rollins is the new NLW World Champion! Well, folks, it's almost time for our main event, the Fatal 4-Way number one contenders match to see who's going to challenge Seth Rollins for the NLW World title. Is it going to be Cesaro, Pentagon Jr., Kenny Omega, or Shinsuke Nakamura? We're about to find out, but what an incredible night it's been. From the physical altercation between Stone Cold Steve Austin and Sting, from Minoru Suzuki's debut, Marty Skrull is the new X Division Champion. It's really been a night for the history books on our return here at No Limits Wrestling. Well, we mentioned earlier that each man in this main event won their respective matches at WrestleMania. Cesaro defeated Bret Hart in a technical masterclass of a match. Kenny Omega, as we mentioned earlier, defeated Daniel Bryan in what many are calling one of the greatest matches in NLW history. Shinsuke Nakamura became the first man to best the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar with a Kinshasa. The only man in this main event who didn't win their match at WrestleMania was Pentagon Jr. He fell to The Undertaker, however, he didn't go down without a fight. The question, though, is where is The Undertaker? The reason he's not in the main event is because he seems to have been missing for quite some time. We don't know why. 
but in my opinion, something doesn't add up about that whole situation regarding The Undertaker's disappearance. Pentagon is in the match, and these four men are going to put their bodies on the line for a shot at the NLW World Title. Not one of those athletes has taken their eye off the other for one single second. And there you see the man that awaits the winner of this contest, the NLW World Champion Seth Rollins, and there's a shot by Pentagon to start this match. And Shinsuke Nakamura playing mind games here already. Goes to the upper cut, does Cesaro, but there's a Kataro Crusher. And goes to the long blow, but plays on the top. And here comes Shinsuke with a knee. Well, we started with four. And now we appear to be down to two already. And would you look at this face off? This crowd knows what's up. Shinsuke says, bring it on. We're about to see Omega versus Shinsuke Nakamura right now, but on oh, a reverse runner by Pentagon. And a drop kick. And a huge uppercut by Cesaro. The King of Swing takes him out, and there's a Uranagi on the apron, but goes for the stomp in the ring. Gets sweeped out. Stomp misses. Roundhouse misses that time, but doesn't miss that heel kick. Right into the nose of Cesaro, could have broken it. And now sweeps him out. Oh, that super kick by Pentagon. Running off the ropes, Cesaro and Shinsuke on the outside, to break on Hero! Pentagon Jr. flying over the top rope, this our main event, number one contenders match. May have hurt himself there. But look in the ring, rise of the Terminator, here comes Omega, runs off the ropes, backflip into a powerbomb! A backdrop powerbomb by Pentagon Jr. to Kenny Omega. Omega now whipped off the ropes, leapfrog, misses, and a huge drop kick. Pentagon taken out again. And here's Cesaro with a somersault off the apron. Meanwhile in the ring, every man for himself the roll up. But Shinsuke can get it. One fall to a finish here. Shinsuke, the reverse exploder onto Omega. And that sets up. For the King Shots, and this is the God! V trigger to the face. Wipes out Shinsuke. And Seth Rollins watches on. At least one of these men will challenge him for the world title in the future. And Cesaro saw Shinsuke and Omega on the top, and now everybody's down. That sunset flip suplex. Cesaro trying to gain his feet, but meanwhile, Pentagon slides back in the cover and a stomp to break it up. Just in the nick of time, go for the Pentagon driver, but Elvis is way out now. Goes for the spinning uppercut, but caught in midair with the German suplex. Such a fast pace to this match. All of these guys vying for an opportunity to become world champ. And they'll do it by any means necessary. Let's not break the arm of Shinsuke. But a missile drop kick from Omega stops that from happening. But look at this now! One winged angel coming! Shinsuke tried to fight out, but turned instead into a deadlift German. And Shinsuke now is prone. Omega cocks his gun. He's caught locked and ready. So unleash a V trigger, but Cesaro just unleashed an uppercut. Ran at him like a steam train, and now the Cesaro swing, and the sharpshooter, sharpshooter locked in, is Omega going to tap out to this sharpshooter, Rzynski, oh the King Shossa, to the back of Cesaro's skull, and Cesaro, he may be knocked out, if not, he's about to be, King shots are coming, but Pentagon saw what was going on and caught that arm. And now the arm submission in the ropes. But no disqualifications in a fatal four way, remember. And just swings in by a back kick. Caught in the mid-air to Shinsuke. Measures his man, but here comes Omega with another reverse Frankensteiner and Shinsuke's been taken out. Omega! Tope! Wipes out Nakamura. And the Terminator has risen. Nakamura's been taken out. 
Seth Rollins watches his incredible action. This is all wipes out Omega with the uppercut. Flying in. Two men remain. One more uppercut to come. No. Turns it around into the package. Power driver. Oh my God. Oh, what an arm snap. And Pentagon. Breaks the arm of Cesaro. And Pentagon wins this fatal four way. The man with zero fear just became the man who is next in line to challenge for the NLW World Championship. Seth Rollins looking now into the cold dead eyes of Pentagon Jr. We'll take a look at the end of this incredible main event. The Topecon hero wiped out Shinsuke, then the uppercut to Omega. Went for one more uppercut but you could see he turned it into a backslide did Pentagon. And then that slick transition into the package pile driver and immediately snap the arm. And the trainer going to attend it. Look at that arm. It's all bent out of shape. Omega disheartened as is Shinsuke. But at the end of the day, the disappearance of The Undertaker has created a huge opportunity for this man. Because now Pentagon Jr. is next in line to challenge for that NLW world title. And I cannot wait to see the ball. Shot to the back of the skull. Edge. Oh my god, the chair shot. Between the head and the ring post. What the hell is he doing here? He disguised himself as a camera guy. Decked Rollins. And the man who took the world title from Edge has been taken out. Edge reminding Rollins that he wants his entitled rematch for that world title.